Hi guys, my name is Okoyemi Manuel, a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how I color correct my photos and create my photos and capture one. Stick with me as we dive into the tutorial. All right, in Capture One, the first thing I do, I try as much as possible to um, make use of the details uh, record tab here, like the search tool, and attach or set all the tools that I will be needing to grade um, my photos. This is more like a shortcut, all right? So that the first thing I want to do is that I want to right click, then uh, add tools. The very first tool that I would like to add in this are these characteristics. Like so and then the next time we add another two we exposure yeah now after adding exposure i want to add another one let's say uh levels the next thing i want to add i as i dynamic range that's the next thing i want to add a color editor after color editor i want to add color balance don't worry i will still rearrange the in the order of sequence i will be working with in capture one so the next thing is color balance. After color balance, I would like to add my white balance. So where is white balance? Then to scroll down here to locate white balance. Like so. So after that, I'm going to add also my vignette. Add my vignette. So after that, what other things do I need to add here? Um, and my film grain. And also my style and presets over there. So uh, the next thing I want to add also is layer. <laughs> like so. Basically, these are all the tools I'll be using in Capture One to color correct my picture and also color grade it. So um, I can quickly rearrange all these tools sequentially by clicking on one and dragging it. For instance, this um, exposure. Okay, let white balance come up here after basic characteristics then also um exposure follows levels and then either make it then color editor and uh, vignette yeah then layer comes after um dynamic range like so so this is the order at which i uh, color correct my i follow to color correct my photos in capture one and also color grade my photos in capture one so now Let's dive into the tutorial as I first check on my base characteristics. For instance, this picture is, um, is, is a raw picture as you can see. And one of the best, one of the reasons why you should always shoot your photos in raw and it gives you a lot of options in post production. So now, um, when I click on this, I can always change the generics of this provide. To anyone that I, I that I that I like. Okay, for instance, this is Adobe. If I come to D and D and the workplace, I can equally I can quickly sap out all the reds in this picture. As you can see, um, Canon camera has more of red. She understand. Also, that we have countless number of generics that you can use. But for the sake of this story, I want to use um, generic of uh, Canon EOS R5. I like that generic so much. So I'm gonna just put it that way. Now, and the next bit I want to do now is to work on my white balance. Basically, I like my white balance to be in the range of 5,000 to 5,004. Look straight to me. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna set this white balance to 5,140, like so. So, and uh, uh, let me just have five, yes, 5,000 for the extra. And also, you can also customize your white balance. These are also raw options that you can shoot. If you should shoot in JPEG, you will not have all these options in area. So now, the next thing, you can add a tint to it, either in magenta or a greenish tint. So my, I want to just give it a like negative um, kind of, um, yeah, negative 0 0.5 tint. To it now the next thing i want to do is to go to my exposure now going to my exposure that will lead me to my exposure warning now if you look notice what is going on here let me zoom in so that you can properly now if you notice if i click this exposure warning 
there's a red highlight that shows up here and the lip the cloth she gets red highlight now what does it mean showing the areas that are over exposed in this picture so now the exposure warning triangle here is just going to tell you when you are doing the writing tell you when to stop and here tell you um let you know if you are actually doing the writing so that's the idea now let's dive in i'm just gonna reduce this guy a bit to like um this kind of i don't want to overdo it something like this i'm cool with it now the next thing i can also work on the uh, what's it called contrast but i don't like working my contrast by from the exposure uh, panel so what i do most time i come to my levels and then on level we have shadow we have mid-tone and we have a uh, highlight all right and then the only thing you should okay what i do mostly in levels that i create my contrast via my shadows so all i need to do is just to drag this guy up a bit to like six i'm sure you can see what is happening to the picture now yeah six seven i think i'm cool i like what i see now so for the mid tone i just drag it at this to like three or negative three or yeah negative three i'm cool with that then the highlight i'll just bring it down a bit just slightly just slightly i don't want to overdo it here the next thing we want to do okay let's quickly see the quick before and after of what we have done so far in um, um, levels so hold alt on your keyboard or to see the quick before and after of what we have just done in uh, on levels so when you click this you see before and after so now let's continue the next thing i want to work on is my eye dynamic range okay i want to increase the highlights of this picture yes i like when my eye picture highlight is is um very very high because i i like it when my picture is shining all right so i like to increase my highlights the next thing i can crush out the shadow a bit yes something like uh 23 you don't want to overdo this just slightly you don't want to overdo this 23 25 is good now for the white i'm going to crush down the white you can see what is can you look, can you see the sky i mean the house behind the model and also the clothes push down the white so that you can see you can see, you get to see the details this helps you to see the details on the clothes of the model now the next thing you can reduce you can open up the blacks or you decrease it depending on what you want but i will advise you not to what not to overdo it all right so slightly like that good so let's quickly see before and after of this this is before and this is after wow good so let's bring this up a bit and the shadow wrap a bit kind of yeah great so the, what we are trying to achieve in is a melanin look all right so and after working on the all this i want to go to my um layer then create uh, make sure i select this or I create a layer and if i don't want to create a layer, i can still work on the by daily you can create a layer by just clicking on uh, any of this um let me go to layer again so that i can show you just click on this plus to create a layer make sure you select it then come to color editor and start your color okay in color editor we have three channels there we have basics we have advanced and we have a um, skin tone now in basics if you click on the first color here which is red by the time you click on this uh number one you can desaturate the red like so and as you can see doesn't seems like this is working or affecting our image why because the layer that we created has to is not filled so you need to come and fill the marks then or probably just create a new field layer check it but now i feel the marks already so i'm sure it's going to work now Let's go back to follow color editor now work on the you can you see the you look at the eye look at the eye of the model the eye lead of the model look at it I'm sure you can see something there uh -huh. so it's actually working so now you can desaturate the red anywhere okay the lead is red i can i can desaturate it i can increase the saturation of the red in that lead and also um uh, yes increase the lightness or the darkness depending on what you want to achieve with your image do you understand so that's that so now but for the sake of the story i'll just i'm just gonna um let it be i can also correct this in photoshop 
share guys so okay let me just increase the um, saturation a bit kind of okay then the lightness a bit no i think i'm cool with the lightness i think i'm cool with the yeah, light yeah makes sense so now the next thing is um let's go with the yellow the yellow so now i want to increase the um saturation of the yellow also just slightly you not know, too much okay so the lightness let's see and uh, i think i'm cool with the lightness also let's see, turn the lightness so now another part is that you can also use this basic section in color editor to confirm areas in which colors are being affected other colors are affecting your image now i can see now that red is affecting the skin tone of this picture now so definitely when i get to advance i'm going to fix that let's go to orange yes let's check click on these three dots then you see that already the skin is even in um selected on the then the next bit is um what's it called uh yellow let's see if yellow is affecting our image yes some yellows on the forehead the hand and then uh, yeah so we'll color that so the next thing i want to do i want to go to the advanced yes on the advanced i want to pick my color picker then sample the skin tone like so then yeah if you notice way back when we we're in basics some color affected our image while we selected red color and then we notice that some part of the image is okay let me go back so that you can see that can you see this when you click this guy and check this can you see the colors red is actually affecting me so we want to correct the red we want to chase out the red from the color wheel so how do we do that now just drag this yellow out to orange that is selected then bring this red out of zone so that you can have most of the picture on most of the selection on orange hello that's how to do that so you can also increase the saturation of the orange if you want that's overweight but you don't need to do overdo it check it you can change to black and white if you want actually check it just the skin tone you can see every other color is on point the only thing we are working on is the skin tone check it now that's a way to even separate color in the capture one so the next let's let's um click on the note to return back to the base now the next thing we want to do we want to uh increase this i mean we turn it back to the base. i want to desaturate this guy a bit just slightly the skin tone slightly so, like that i don't want to go away but just a little bit yeah this i'm i'm, I'm good with this so now the next thing i want to do i want to increase the i want to decrease the darkness the lightness rather because the idea of this image is that i want to create a melanin look for this um, model so something like this look kind of pretty to me okay so now uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to go to the skin tone and sample pick my color picker here and then select the skin also now the same thing we do when we're in advance we'll repeat it chase out a yellow bring it to orange chase out red bring it to orange so now you can use this to increase the intensity of orange and you can bring it down depending on what you want but do not overdo it you can add contrast to it and add contrast to the color tone which is depending on what you want now this is where the magic is now you can increase you can work on the hue i'm not sure if you can see if this is affecting the image here you can see the hue so i want to bring it up like let me add a bit of magenta to this image just slight like that good then the next thing i want to work on the saturation I want to i can desaturate i can bring up depending on what i want i just want to keep the saturation the way it is it is it was and then i will reduce your lightness again slightly like that because i'm just going to achieve a particular feel for this model which is melanin so the next thing is uniformity i want the i want to inform the hues in this image the entire hues in the i want to inform it I want a nice view for this image just slightly and i think something like this is cool yes then increase the saturation uniform the saturation in this image let's the saturation in this image be, be uniform so yeah i'm just gonna raise this up like that then the next thing i want to do the light i want to inform the light yes the light in the image the lightness so and you don't overdo it just slightly shake it like so okay so let's quickly see where we're coming from this was before and then this is after i would like to come back to my 
and high dynamic range and jack up my highlights jack up my highlight to like 70 or there about because i like when my highlight is very very pump, popping then i can come to this side and reduce my shadow yeah you know, yeah makes sense this makes sense so i can bring this guy up the white a bit then the black i can open up if i want but i want to see the richness in the in the hair so of the model so it's just slightly negative like that. yeah makes sense the next thing i do after working on my ed color editor and uh, my eye dynamic range i come to my color balance here over here so in color balance we have the master when you work on the master it affects the entire image i'm sure you can see what is going on right now so now but when uh you work on the three wheel we have um, the shadow the mid tone and the highlight and in this part we have shadow mid tone and highlight highlight shadow mid tone and highlight separately so now in this in the sake of this tutorial i want to work with the three away um, color balance so now this image now has more of a green if i can if i may be right green yellow kind of so in achieving melanin look color blue do now and uh, making up of our melanin look so my shadow i'm gonna show some blue on it you know? so i don't want to do i don't want to go away but just like it that? slightly you don't do you don't overdo it now for the highlight also i want to make it um blue kind of yeah so just slightly like that you copy that so now when you overdo it, it turns something else. You don't overdo it. I'm just going to check which color will be best for this look that I'm trying to create. Yeah, this cream looks great. Orange, not bad. Then aqua looks lovely. So I'm going to stick with this green. So I'll just reduce it a bit like that. You can see it just slightly like that. Then I can reduce the contrast. I can increase the contrast depending on what I want to gain there and also for the uh, highlights I can do the same also just like you don't overdo it that's the idea you don't want to overdo it and also for the mid-tone I can do the same thing also so just keep it that subtle very subtle like that like that so now you can see before it could be before of an after of that this before and this after before after before after so looking great to me looking great really really great to me okay all right so this is how i color correct and color grade my photos in capture one all you need to do is you like click and edit with photoshop and to load this for you in photoshop like so then edit variants thank you if this video has benefited you one way or the other uh, i would like you to subscribe i would like you to please subscribe and then like and then comment under the video and also on the notification button uh, so that you can see more of more videos like this and thank you very much